Welcome friends, I'm Jamin and I have another issue. Another issue that I made myself about four hours ago because I saw that we need a new feature in a library that I wrote two years ago. This library is React Native Colo Loco. So it, for React Native apps, often when you wanna do native code like Swift or Kotlin or Objective-C or Java, you have to go into the iOS or Android folders and make your changes in there. What React Native Colo Loco does is it lets you put your source files for your native files like Kotlin and whatnot in among your JavaScript and TypeScript files. So it's pretty cool. However, there's one little gap. I'd like to try to tackle that today and see how far I get. If you go to github.com, Jamin Holmgren, React Native Colo Loco, go ahead and click the star button. You know, makes me feel better. And like I said, this allows you to co-locate your native modules and components within your JavaScript and JSX files. If you look down here at the first screenshot, it shows that there's welcome screen.tsx, and then of course you have your Java, Kotlin, uh, Objective-C, and Swift files, as well as header files all in the same place. It doesn't actually matter where you put them as long as they're all in the same folder. React Native Colo Loco will actually go through and link those to your Xcode and Android Studio projects in a way that any changes you make in either place will actually be reflected in your source file or in your native app project. There's some installation instructions, including an install script, which is quite nice. We actually need a React Native project, so I'm just gonna do a bare React Native project here. And we're gonna call this Jamin's Notes. We're actually not gonna build this, at least not right now. Okay, now that we have the app spun up, we're gonna CD into it. So now that we have our, our app, let's go ahead and build it in uh, the iPhone 14 simulator. While that's building, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the feature that we're gonna build. So I filed an issue, and that's what I was talking about making more work for myself, right? We have a client at Infinite Red. We're building an iPhone app and an Android app with them. They need the ability to specify targets per file. We might be able to create Swift files for various features within their app, but not every file applies to every target. What's a target? Well, I'll get to that in a little bit. And here's our normal React Native app, just kind of built 71.11 uh, as of this recording, fairly standard iOS app here. React Native Colo Loco only allows you to specify the targets that it will link files into by hacking into the Xcode project file on a project-wide basis. So we're wanting to make that a file-wide basis. I'll show you in just a bit what I mean by that. Opening up Xcode, you can see that on the left here, we have a couple of different things. We have our pods and Jamin's Notes app. And within the Jamin's Notes app, there are a couple of targets and the project itself. So let's say that you wanted to share content over to our new app. The way that you accomplish that in iOS is by creating a share extension. So let's go to file and then go down to target and make sure that I'm selected on iOS. It looks like a share extension is right here. We're gonna hit next. What's the product name? Well, this is gonna be the Jamin's Notes share. And we're gonna leave the project just as it is and hit finish and activate it. So now we have this additional Jamin's Notes share. And you'll notice that one of the things it creates, you have a main interface, we have our info P list, and then we have a share view controller. We're actually gonna be deleting this file because we want this file to live with our JavaScript files in the React Native app. So I'm gonna come back here and run Yarn iOS. And it starts up just how you would want, but then let's say that we jump out of here and go into Safari and we click on Apple. And now we wanna share this over to our Jamin's Notes. I click this and you'll see that there's a Jamin's Notes button. I click that and you'll see that there's kind of a basic UI here that gets posted over to the Jamin's Notes app. We wanna make sure that this is actually run over on the JavaScript side. So I'm just gonna copy all of this code right here on Xcode. I'm gonna create a new folder just called app. And inside of the app, I'm gonna create a new folder just called share extension. And then I'm going to create a new file and we're gonna name it the same as this other file, share view controller dot Swift. And then I'm just gonna paste all of this in as is. And then I will delete and actually move it to the trash. Now that we have the share view controller in our JavaScript, we wanna link that in the Xcode project. What I'm gonna do is install React Native Colo Loco and I'm gonna just follow the instructions in the readme. NPM React Native Colo Loco is installed. Now we're gonna run this install script. This looks fine. And now it is installed. So the next thing I need to do is run npx pod install. It should link it into the Xcode project. And we have a co-located folder now with a share view controller. If I go in here and put in a comment at the top, this is co-located. And I come back over here and it says, this is co-located. Well, you see here with this co-located folder, it's not really a folder. It's more of a group. The actual file itself, it is actually located in our app folder. It could be right alongside some JavaScript, which is very cool. So now it knows 
knows where to find this. So if I click here, I can look and I see that the target membership are currently Jamin's Notes, Jamin's Notes Tests, and Jamin's Notes Share. React Native Cola Loco actually linked me up with all three targets. Now, there is a thing in React Native Cola Loco. If I go to the pod file and I find this link co-located native files, I can do a thing called exclude targets, which is quite nice for excluding the tests part of this. So I go Jamin's notes, Jamin's notes tests right there. I'm gonna go ahead and enter this down so that it looks a little nicer. And then I'm gonna run npx pod install again. Now, if I come back here, you'll see that the target membership has actually not changed. That's because the co-located link does not actually update the target memberships. If a file's already been linked, it just assumes that everything's good and it doesn't try to do anything. That's probably still what we want, but if you ever want to uh, have it rebuild those relationships, you can always just delete this co-located group and it should delete everything in it and there it goes. Try npx pod install again and it should recreate that co-located file. And if I go to the co-located folder, you'll see that it it skipped the tests, but we don't want it in Jamin's notes. We only want this file to be in the share. So why is a target membership of Jamin's notes a problem? Why can't we just target everything? If you are trying to access something that is really only accessible within your share, it will crash trying to link everything in. It'd be better if it simply, it was only a member of the targets that it was supposed to be in. Let's say that we wanted to customize this into its own thing. So I'm asking ChatGPT to help me modify this code. I'm gonna give it the actual share extension controller code that I have already. Help me modify the code so that it shows some text indicating sharing to notes. And let's see what it comes up with. It's writing some Swift here, and it kind of explains what it's done afterward. It adds a UI label to the center of the view controller with the text sharing to notes. And it's in the center of the view using auto layout constraints. Click copy code and come back in here and paste this in. And if I go back to Safari and I click the share button and click Jamin's notes, it does not show the custom UI. And that's very interesting. So let's ask ChatGPT why it's not giving us the actual custom view. I like to tell ChatGPT when something's not working. Now it says that it made a mistake. Interesting. I think we don't want to do SL Compose Service View Controller. Well, let's try it anyway. Okay, jumping back over to Safari, we'll hit Share and click Jamin's Notes. And it does show the sharing to notes down here, which is kind of cool. But this brings us back to the main issue. We are linking in this file into Jamin's Notes right here. We don't want that. We only want it to be linked into the, the Jamin's Notes share. I could go to the pod file and add that over to this array and say Jamin's Notes. But what if we had other native files that needed to be linked into the main Jamin's Notes project and target? This wouldn't work. That's why this issue exists and what we're going to try to fix today. Now that you've sort of seen that, I want to actually open up the, the React Native Colo Loco repo. It would actually be very handy to be able to write a a test for this. So I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to help us with that. First, I'm gonna grab all of the tests that we have here. And of course, you wanna give it context at first. What are we working on? React Native Colo Loco. So first I talk about what I'm working on and I tell it what I'm trying to do, like adding the ability to specify a particular file in a particular file, custom build targets to link to. If the native file contains this, it'll only link to the targets listed. I need to add a test first to test this ability before I build it. And this does not look right. So this is a situation where we're kind of pushing the bounds of what ChatGPT can handle. This doesn't quite look right. A little bit complex to figure out whether the file is in there or not. Hmm. This is not an easy one. This is kind of a complex setup. So if we go back to ChatGPT, it looks like it's simply trying to read the Xcode project file. And so this is not correct, but maybe what we can do is something more like this. Count how many of them we find. So that at least gives us some sort of an idea. I told ChatGPT what I'm looking for. I'd like to test this to check for a string like the following, and then please rewrite the test accordingly and remove the Colo Loco targets test, which I know that this is incorrect. It's not, that's not it. ChatGPT is trying to change the way that these are. This may not work, but we'll give it a shot. We'll run the tests. Give me an alternative. And let's see, let's see what it comes up with. Split. 
it's kind of wasteful, but this is a test, who cares? Okay, using the split method, rewrite the tests. Then it can be a little bit simpler, right? So we're gonna make bar.swift only show up in one file. We're gonna make bar.m also show up only in one, but everything else will show up twice. And in order to do that, now we have a working test. Now I need to go to my Ruby file, the iOS.rb file, and I'm gonna copy this and tell it to give us the changes that need to be made in order to enable this behavior. Just gonna drop that in and we'll see what it says. So I'm gonna try copying this code here, co-located files.each, looks like it's right here, and I'm gonna paste that in. We write the test first, test-driven development. All right, it's still found, oh, <laughs> well, the logic's in there, but what did I forget? I never actually put the, the directive in the file itself, so let's go do that. Bar.m, colo, loco, Oh, so this is a problem right here. You may not always have a space in between, you know, right after the comma. Modify only split on commas and then trim any extra spaces. I can do this myself and really quick, but have the bot do it, right? Uh, using GPT 3.5, sometimes it'll give me what I need. I think this is right based on my fairly old Ruby knowledge. We'll give it a shot. So Colo Loco targets, we're only gonna go to into test app. There, it shouldn't fail on bar.m, but it should fail on bar.swift. It looks like bar.swift did fail, so we're gonna go to bar.swift, colo loco targets, test app tests. Yay, it passed. It looks like it's working, but we need to actually test this on an actual app and see if it actually does what it's actually supposed to do. Now there's a number of different ways we can do this. The easiest is for me to just grab this modified Ruby script that we wrote and go back to our other app, find this script wherever it lives, which it's in React Native Colo Loco scripts iOS.rb, so I'm gonna go find that. And then just replace them in right in the node modules. Go back into Xcode, remove the reference rerun npx pod install, and it does connect it. It's got those two, but now let's go back in within the share view controller at the very top, colo loco targets. And then I'm going to remove this reference again. Rerun npx pod install, click here and looky there. It only does the Jamin's notes share. We still have one more thing to do though. Even though we've tested all of this stuff and it appears to be working, I do need to come back in here, write a change to the readme. You can also specify an individual file basis which targets you want to link. Time to turn this into an actual pull request. Adds a feature on a per file basis that targets to link to. And I'm gonna CC Mazenchami, who was one of the people to suggest this. Double check the files, I always like to scan through. Cola Loco targets, I kinda like that. Most of this was written by ChatGPT, but with us kinda directing it. Well, that's everything. <laughs> it seems like such a simple thing, but it took me quite a while. If you wanna see me do more of these types of videos, please do like and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. I read them all. Thanks a lot, friends, and we'll see you all next time.